The doctors generally work 24 hours and the nurses work every 12 hours, right? So this is basically our shift. So if we're on call, then we do 24 hours, right? During the morning, sometimes it's hectic and then during the night, sometimes it's a little bit calmer. But sometimes you're up all 24 hours, basically taking care of patients. In the ICU department, um, it's very difficult to predict how your day will go because sometimes you start off calm and then by midday it's rock and roll basically like i like to say it's basically you're attending to one patient who requires the attention until the next morning and so the next doctor coming in is basically continuing in that detention it's a difficult thing because sometimes we're faced with a battle of a patient that you cannot see what's inside you can only go based on your clinical evidence based on your laboratory evidence and uh, you don't know what the liver actually looks like, what the kidney actually looks like, what the heart actually looks like. And a lot of our patients come in and they were not previously seen by a doctor. So now you're diagnosing people with diabetes for the first time, di diagnosing people with hypertension for the first time, heart failure. And these make, these make the situation a lot worse because now your prognosis, your, your possibility of getting better of leaving the hospital of leaving the high dependency unit is basically slimmer your possibility of actually getting better is slimmer the length of time that a patient takes to get better it's way longer than a patient who would actually be normal and healthy so it just makes the whole COVID-19 aspect move from someplace where you expected it to get better and then it just goes down here very, 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 very bad. You know, we make it over it. I'm happy for them. Who knows? It's not the people's fault. But it's very, very please stay away from from them things because it will not be on the way. It's a very dangerous. So please, I'm begging you all that would stay safe and stay nice. It will be much better for us all. But there is this much that you can do when you see a young man or a young woman come in with such life or previous life or when you maybe see their ID cards and you say but this person looked very healthy and happy before and then you look at them on the bed. When you look at what's happening to them currently, you feel very sad because there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to help them, to get them out of that state. There is nothing that you can actually apply to them to get them out of that state. How can you actually help them? Can you send them to another country? Other countries are doing the same thing. They're going through the same crisis. The surge is the same way in different countries. I would say that, yes, we've been through four waves, but this is the worst wave we've been through because one, the patients are sicker. Two, it requires way more attention now than before. Three, it requires way more medical attention than before, way more medical resources than before, way more human resources than before. Like I said, one doctor can be with one patient all day long, all night long, 24 hours. And sometimes you go until 48 hours because you really want to save that person. And sometimes, unfortunately, you can't. And that makes you very sad as a person, as a human being. Remember that we're human beings before we're professionals.